well, I haven't been to Dealey Plaza in a long time. I guess I'll look around. There's the whole grassy knoll area. Main Street here. Of course, there's uh, where they made the right turn onto Houston. And now they call this the Old Red Museum. And, uh, the Texas School Book Depository is pretty much obscured by trees there. Check it out. Yeah, here we have the old Texas School Book Depository. This is about where Howard Brennan was standing. I think he was sitting on this right here. And, uh, of course, this is, you really can't tell from this, but Elm Street's very steep downhill. Very steep. Now here's an area people don't see too often. As you can see, this is the entrance to the Texas School Book Depository. This here is uh, Elm Street. But this is the area behind Grassy Knoll. This was not paved back in 1963. Again, there's the Texas School Book Depository. This is the area where the railroad yard was. And uh, this is the area now behind the grassy knoll. I actually need to walk a little bit further. This is the, over there was where uh, Lee Bowers was. Now I'm behind all those monuments, walls and things. This is where the fake Secret Service agent was. Oh my gosh. There's the picket fence. They like to keep it that way here in Dealey Plaza because it attracts more tourists. Let's see. Let's see if we can become the grassy knoll gunman here. Trees are much bigger now, of course. Of course, I think that's Robert Groden down there selling his wares. I'll get a closer look at him later. As you can see, I'll look behind me here. There's really no place to go. Here's the podium where Abraham Sapruder was standing when he was filming it. They even have a little plaque here. Let's get his perspective. Of course, you always have stuff like this going on down here. Let's hear what he has to say. One eighteenth of a second later, Governor Connolly is shot. You oh, see this guy has it all worked out. Puff out explosively to the previous frame. Met this gentleman. He's from Peru. He's here to check it out. He's a pretty smart guy. One eighteenth of a second later, they puff out even further. Of course, here you can see the uh, X on the road right there. That's where he got the headshot. They have another mark up the road further for the uh, neck shot mode. This guy here is pretty comical. People are sucking it up. He's got it all solved. Hey, this gentleman here is Steven. selling... What's your name? Steven. This is the newspaper from the day after the assassination. It's an amazing piece of history. It's exactly the way it was printed back in 1963. Not only does it tell you all about the Kennedy assassination, everything from what the building looked like. Did, did you hear that, folks? Kennedy was assassinated. Wow, amazing. 
how Oswald set the boxes up. Oh my gosh. It's also got a quote, Nelly. So you th think Oswald set those boxes up? He did set those boxes Okay. Up. He did bring a rifle into work that day. Oh my gosh. Now Nellie Conley in the last block of, a of, of Main Street right here leads back to JFK and says, you sure can't say Dallas wasn't friendly to you. Right. 60 seconds later, he was shot. This also shows you Mrs. Kennedy Friday morning in her famous pink Chanel outfit. It was clean, oh, man. Oh, she's smiling. Yeah, back now, she's not smiling. Not she's smiling there. Blood. Well, she's thanks, Stephen. And now, here's something I've always wanted to do. Is go actually stand on the uh, overpass. I see a train's going by right now. So let's do that and see what kind of perspective we have. Quite an impressive railroad yard. Well, here's what it would have looked like. So it looks like looking straight up Main Street. And here we have the uh, Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza. It's an impressive tour. If you ever get here, you should do it. They don't dwell so much on the assassination so much as they do uh, the President's life. Well, let's see what it'll look like if you stood up there at the entrance of the repository for Billy Lovelady. Or as you conspiracy guys think, Oswald was standing. Not a very good spot, really. Of course, the Stemmas Freeway sign is no longer here. But this is still here. This uh, metal girder that spans across Elm Street. You see right there it says uh, Stemmons Freeway. I'm on the uh, west side of uh, the triple underpass. You can see it behind me. Commerce Street, Main Street, Elm Street. People often say, why didn't they just go down Main Street? Well, here's why. I want you to look out here carefully. And you can uh, see this median. That was there in 1963. So if you came down Main Street, you could make this exit right here. They needed to go to the trademark. So it would have been awkward. They would have had to uh, almost do a 180 degree turn to get uh, back onto Elm Street in order to make the exit. So there was a very good reason why they came down Elm Street. Here I am at the scene of my crime back from 1978, where I set up the firecracker. There were bigger trees here back then. They've cut them back to smaller bushes. And I set it off around here. I had a buddy standing down there a little bit. 